The Crystal Caves. A fairly decent level after that shite we've just endured. And it's also the home of a dragon. Hence the dragon gems that we have been needlessly, as it seemed, uh, lumping around for the past several levels. Oh my god, this sword's mint! It just kills them in one hit! They are vulnerable to the might of the magic sword. Uh, yes, I nipped back and uh, refilled my energy because at this stage in the game, if you go in with no health, you will get your shit handed to you in several bags. The ancient town of Menomede was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in Rhinotaurs? a nation deep within these caverns. I take it they, they are like Minotaurs. Their worthless hides. You have a worthless hide. Oh, we've got Gimps. Return of the Gimps. Yeah, fuck off. Sticky fingered gimps, you fucking dare think you're gonna lay one pissing finger on my magic sword? I think not. These are rhinotaurs. And they have green blood despite being skeletons. That is very peculiar. Last time I checked, skeletons didn't have blood. So he had a silver shield in the crystal with him. Fair enough. Getting buried with things you like and all that sort of thing. When I die, you will be buried alive with me. One book. Tread softly in these caves for an ill-tempered dragon has a lair here. Indeed it does, but beyond that gate. I require the earth rune, which I currently don't have. Oh, this camera. I wish it would behave itself. Okay, we can't go that way. Guess we'll have to go this way. Oh, fucking hell. Don't like that. Oh, shit. I certainly don't like that. Piss. Ah! It's a dead end. Get off. Don't like that. Hope there's no more of them. Can't be doing with. Let's go and fight Mr. Dragon. After we fight some more rhino tolls. Uh, which way? Through the water or through the cave? Aha! I'm in the right place. The mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much as he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. That in itself should give you an idea of how we defeat the dragon. Who dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber? Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh... Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes! Oh, great. I'm just gonna give you a good hiding. Which in British English means I'm gonna kick your ass. So as you can see, we have to smash the floor with the hammer, or the club if you don't have the hammer, but if you don't at this point, I'm seriously concerned. Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! It's weird, like, different parts of the floor dif correspond to different holes you can come out of. It's very odd. Oh, that's not right. No, that isn't right either. I'm fucking getting bent! Smashy, smashy. Oh, 
Ah, shit. <laughs> I tried to do a dash jump, but I didn't because I, was, I wasn't even running, so I just blocked and fell off. He never freaking goes there. Such bullshit. I almost did it again. Yeah, fuck you. I'm on fire! Take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Once it lets you breathe fire, then go away. Yeah, the armor is pretty much the only good point of the dragon potion, which is also known as dragon armor. The breathing fire bits are kind of pointless, to be honest. There's not a great deal you can do with it. I mean, yeah, you can breathe fire, but <laughs> it doesn't do a great deal of damage, shall we say. Right, which is the way I came from? I assume, oh, ah, I assume it was this way. Ah, oh, tell a lie. It's fairly decent against the Rhinotaurs, so I'll use it. Because I've got it, so I may as well use it. For some reason, it's not hitting the Gimp, because he's too low down. It seems for it to hit. Piss off. And I've lost me pissing shield. Get lost. Ugh. I was just about to say I wonder if that floor's gonna give out. No, there's just big gaping holes in it. And why do you respawn me on a place where you can just so easily fall straight back off? Oh, they're totally gonna give away, aren't they? Ugh. Ooh, what's this all about? It looks like my paddling pool after I've been playing in Gunge, but it is in fact just water with different reflections from the crystals on it, which is boring. Uh-huh, I say 95, 90, 95%. Let's see. I have the star rune, so I can go and open this gate. Presumably there is more enemies beyond there. Yes, there are, because I can see the torches of gimps. The chalice can now be collected. Yeehaw! Now, do not leave the level without collecting it. As much as I wouldn't mind doing this level again, I'd rather not, because my favourite level is coming up next, I think. I keep saying that, because I keep forgetting where it is, but I think it's after this one. Give me all your chalice. Get out of it. Freaking shadow demons. Make a wonderful tourist attraction. Come see Stengard the Mighty. Come and see the last of the centaurs. Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would be hero. Ha 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 ha. I think there's only one weapon I have left to get. Everything else is like additions, like coins and life Daniel, bottles and things like that. I was so, so we've got this mad woman who gives you lightning. I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. Don't ask me a ridiculous question. Of course I will. Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. This game couldn't get any more British if it tried. Now take care. 
The good people of Galamir are depending on you. One lightning. I'm not even sure if you can replace lightning, or if it is, it's very expensive to do so. 